hello all welcome to a new video in linux command line tutorial series in this video we are going to learn about links in linux so what are links links are pointers to files in linux so whenever we use link it points to a certain file how to identify links we can identify links using ls command in linux so first let us see contents of a root directory can see that the root directory contains these contents so we if you use long format whenever we are using ls command you can see that the long format specifies in this way any file that is starting with l here or the color in the different color here you can see that the it is light blue here any file that is starting with l here are links this is how you identify links you can see that the link bin is pointing to user or bin L link library is pointing to user library link and so on you can see many links here so there are two types of links in linux why two types you can say that the links are two types which are hard links and symbolic links hard links are old and not particularly useful so we are not required to learn hard links and they are not particularly much useful whenever we are using linux symbolic links are just like windows shortcuts they are a new version of you can just say that the, they are new version of hard links they have many advantages one of such advantages the symbolic links is up updating applications and changing names for example let's consider an application a which is used by a lot of other processes and the name used by them to refer to application a is a let's say the name of application we update whenever we update to any newer version let's say second version of a and say that the name changes to let's say a 2.0 now we need to change of change the name of a in all other processes that are using its name so it's very confusing process to avoid this you can just create a symbolic link which points to application a let's say small a and if you use this link for other processes which are using a whenever we are updating application a we can just update the symbolic a symbolic link a to point to that application if you use a new name you can just update the symbolic link a to point to new name a to point to so we are not required to update the name of a in all other processes you can just update symbolic link and just be done with it so another use usefulness of symbolic link is whenever we are deleting something if we accidentally delete original files they are not recoverable whenever we delete symbolic links it does not delete original files now let us see how to create symbolic links we can create links to files or directories so to create links in linux command line we use ln command ln stands for link link ln command without any option creates hard links which are not particularly useful so we use s option to create symbolic links for the files or directories we need so first let us see the contents of current directory you can see that the contents of current directory are these so let's say let us create a symbolic link to directory cp so to create symbolic link ln command and then the option s which creates symbolic link and then cp which is the file or directory we need to create symbolic link for and then the name of the symbolic link let's say let us keep it as capital c and capital p now let us see the contents of current directory you can see that the symbolic link cp is created here so whenever we do cp you can see that the contents of cp and the contents of small cp are the same you can also create links to 
files let's say let us create links to link to template.ccp let us create the link in home directory link and s option cp slash template dot cpp and then name of the link is template and now let us see the contents of current directory you can see that the another link is created here whenever we weave template let's say weaving template by using less command you can weave the template dot cpp file so whenever we make changes to template shortcut we also make changes to template dot cpp file so whenever if we delete template link let's say let us remove template link using a remove command and see whether template.cpp is removed or not let us say ls.cp you can see that the template.cpp is not removed and let us see the contents of current directory you can see that the template shortcut is removed so that's it for this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe